Hey Spartan fans, welcome into another Spartan Spotlight. Kevin Schaefer with you as always, and right now we're joined by a member of the men's soccer team, that's Jerry Espinosa. And Jerry, how you doing? I'm um, doing good, you know, it's uh, practice time, so doing pretty good. Awesome. And let's start off with, uh, this is your third season at Missouri Baptist. You are a junior, and we know you're a goal scorer. You led the Spartans in goals a season ago with seven. How would you describe your style of play on the field? Uh, my style of play is quick. Uh, I like to have the ball, give a give and goes, and more of a passer than a shooter. So the more short passes, the more fun it is for me. And I like to dribble to people and beat them by speed. And uh, the season so far, you guys are six games in, 2-2-2 two, two, and two on the season. How is uh, the junior year going so far? Uh, not what I expected. We, I expected uh, not losing not having a two loss right now, so by the teams we've been playing against, uh, I feel like we could do better in our attacking. Our defense is solid right now, but uh, attacking-wise, um, we could do we could do a lot better. And I know we can, so it just takes a lot of practice and a lot of focus. So you mentioned you want to get better. Do you have any specific goals, both individually and then maybe as a team for the rest of the way? Yes, as a team. Um, I would like to come out in the conference, like top top four in the conference, and having positive record in the, in the, in the, in the conference. As for myself, uh, I set goals before the season starts, so I told myself I wanted to score 14 goals and seven assists, so right now I'm one and one. Not what I was looking for, but we still got more games, and I think I could, I think I could do it. Plenty of time here still to play. Uh, next two I want to talk about, I mentioned that you're a junior now. This is your third season at Missouri Baptist. Where have you seen yourself, I guess, progress from when you were a freshman in year one now into year three? Where have you improved the most? I I improve by maturing, by making better decisions in the field, um, taking a important role on the team. I remember... Having the ball, I wanted to dribble, dribble, dribble. I thought that was really important. But now I found out that it's not about dribbling. It's all about passing, making a run for somebody else, and creating spaces for my teammates. Yeah, next one I'll talk about it. You know, you're here at Missouri Baptist. Uh, how did you end up here, and why did you decide this was a good fit? What was, you know, the recruiting process like for you? Uh, after my high school year, I thought I didn't want to play soccer anymore. Um... So I went to Illinois State University and just played club soccer there. They didn't have a men's program. And as I was playing there, a referee who I think was a MOBAB alumni, he talked to me after a game and he said, hey, I like how you, the way you play. You should be playing college soccer. And I explained to him that I haven't gotten that luxury of getting noticed. And he said, he mentioned MOBAB. And then from there, I talked to Jake. And I came down to visit Mobeb and I liked it, and so did my family. So, awesome. and we're glad you're here. And now, uh, I guess one last question: uh, You grew up around the Chicago area. What was it like, you know, growing up for you? Maybe, maybe not much differences between there and here, but what was it just like growing up? And what did you like about living near Chicago? Yes, I live in the Plains, Illinois. It's a little suburb in the near west of Chicago, and um, it was quiet. It was nothing to do there until my brother. After he graduated from college, he moved into an apartment by Chicago, which is on by Lakeshore Drive, which is the beach. And I stayed with him over the summer a lot of occasions, and I kind of kind of got the city life there, and it was a lot better. Like it was, you got it was less way less boring. It was you could do a lot of things there in the city, but and coming back to the suburb, it was kind of plain. But um, my family. Th they all live in the city, in the suburbs, I'm sorry. And um, having to go see grandma, cousins, and uncles, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun there with, with them. But. All righty, now we're going to get into uh, getting the fun part, the uh, rapid fire segment I was talking to you about just before we got on air. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Get out, get out the note sheet here, and uh, here we go. Number one, how would uh, friends describe you? Uh, friends would describe me as I'm a weird person. Um, I'm very shy at first when I don't know people. But once you get to know me, I am everywhere. I'm, I'm always laughing, always joking, 
and everyone would consider me as a weird person, but in a goofy way. What about uh, if you could switch places with anyone, who would it be? Uh, I think it would be Justin Bieber. Uh, I think he has life set for him. That's, that's not a bad choice. Uh, your favorite number? It's five. Um, my first club team, my coach picked five for me, and he picked it for me. And ever since then, I've been doing pretty good with soccer. So I think five is a, good, a, a, a lucky number for me. So, yeah, five. And uh, finally for you, Jerry, what makes you really angry? Um, having people, uh, seeing people take advantage of other people or animals. Like, I, whenever I see commercials or even, like, movies on Netflix or something and, like, a dog dies, I get very angry. Like, why? Why a dog? Or why an animal? And when, when people take advantage of other people, it's kind of, like, selfish. Like, yeah, um... I don't know, it's just the whole taking an advantage part, like you shouldn't take advantage of other people just for your own sake. But I guess that's life, which kind of sucks, but I don't like that, so don't take advantage of me. That'll do it all for us. Uh, that was another Spartan Spotlight with uh, Jerry Espinoza. Jerry, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you for having me.